A town in southern Italy is being called the world's only white town after a bloody campaign of ethnic cleansing. Hundreds of mostly African immigrants rioted in the town of Rosarno. Their violent protests broke out after two members of their community were wounded in a shooting that appears to have been motivated by racism. But authorities have responded by cracking down on the immigrants, forcing them from their town. They even bulldozed the shacks used by migrant farm workers. Tensions have been on the rise for several years between immigrants and Italians. While Italy depends heavily on immigrant labor, some citizens struggle with racism. Others are also worried about a possible terrorist threat from Muslim immigrants. George Thomas has more from Rome. A few miles from the Vatican, at Rome's main train and bus station, 31-year-old Mamoun Maru feels a little uneasy these days. So every time you leave the house, you have to walk out with this document? Yes. This document allows you to work and to live in the yes. country, even though it's a photocopy? Yes. You, because why? Why do you do that? Because, uh, perché, uh, poli policia, policia. because if the police stopped me and I didn't have my immigration papers, I would be in trouble. Maruf is an IT specialist from Bangladesh and a practicing Muslim. He moved to Rome eight years ago in search of a better life. I have more opportunities here to succeed in my career than back home. But then came the anti-immigrant protests. Security is the priority. Immigrants out of the city. And a wave of racially motivated attacks and reprisals. In several occasions, immigrants have been beaten up mainly for the reasons that they are black or they are foreigners. Tensions are now high after a series of brutal attacks and rapes blamed on immigrants. Tempo. The temperature is rising. We can feel it. Prompting a human rights group here to issue this warning. Italy is in danger of becoming one of the most dangerous places for immigrants and minorities. Daniela Carboni works for Amnesty International in Rome. She says there's a climate of discrimination that's spreading across the country, fueled in large part by the country's ruling political parties. It is normal these days to hear politicians publicly attack immigrants using racist language. Human rights groups have accused Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi's coalition government of discriminating against immigrants. The Italian government recently passed security laws to further crack down on illegal immigrants. We've had a number of violent crimes allegedly committed by immigrants, especially against women. But politicians are unfairly using these incidents to target all communities based on their ethnicity. But the tough measures resonate with the Italians and have boosted Berlusconi's popularity. Polls show that a majority here believe immigrants have too many rights and many of them should be deported. Italy has a sizable immigrant population, between 4 to 5 million people, roughly about 7% of the population. Some 670,000 are illegal immigrants. Italy also has a growing Muslim community, numbering around 1 million. And they too are feeling the heat. Once in a while I'll ask people what they think about Muslims living here and if it is a problem for them. Sometimes they look uncomfortable. Polls show many Italians do not trust Muslims and a third don't want a mosque in their neighborhood. So now there's a bill pending in the Italian parliament that would block the construction of new mosques. If passed, the law would ban mosques from being built within a mile of a church, force imams to speak Italian and forbid the use of loudspeakers to call the faithful to prayer. Isabella Bertolini is a member of the Italian parliament. I've asked the Parliament and the Minister of Interior to stop the construction of all new mosques for at least two years. We also need to monitor all the existing mosques to verify what exactly is going on inside these places. There are almost daily reports today in the Italian press about government attempts to crack down on immigrants. You know, this anti-immigrant, especially anti-Muslim sentiments are not just... Uh, isolated to Italy. In fact, today all across Europe, these sentiments are growing. Many of these Muslims don't want to integrate with a larger European society. They live separate lives. For example, here in Italy, 80% of the Islamic women don't speak Italian. 83% don't go outside the house without their husband or a man from their family. They educate their children in separate schools. They speak only Arabic. This is a problem. Bertolini and others believe Europe is being turned into an Islamic province by Muslim immigrants and that more needs to be done to stop the tide. 
In the meantime, Mamoun Maruf says life for Muslims and other immigrants in Italy will get more complicated as the country navigates through the changing demographic landscape. The government thinks there are too many immigrants in this country, but the truth is that we are part of the future of this country and we need to deal with it. George Thomas, CBN News, Rome.